Did I put the trial in there? I did. Okay. Let's do it over here. No, I should probably go get potpourri. I have crap over there. Oh no. Getting potpourri, getting the potpourri. Now that we got that, we can go start this trial. My inventory is a mess. Don't look at it. It's so bad. It is so, so bad right now. Do, 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 do. Hi, how are you? nice I'm doing well gonna be doing some bow trials here to try to make my uh, savage blading ranger set should be fun we'll see how it goes figured it'd be fun to talk to people while I do this Did you get anything from Omen today or just cards? Just cards and crystals with just farming? Nice! Yeah. AF's also really expensive to upgrade. So, like, if you're, like, the plus one to plus two, it's like, okay, it's a million, you know, whatever, it'll be fine. But then going from uh, plus two to plus three is outrageous. I saw something ranger related, so I'm here. <laughs> Ranger's fun. Oh, I'm still on a party. I need to get out of said party. We are working on the TP bonus bow, so that way when we use the weapon skill damage arrow for Savage Blades, we'll do even more stuff. So, we're out here. We're doing it. This is going to be super bad, so terrible, but just got to push through these trials. I need to grab the K-Club in the shop now. There's a dead person. If I had a Kraken Club right now, I'd probably sell it. Just to have Gil for all the other things I need to upgrade on my jobs. Okay. Go to the back. 
Dun, 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 dun. Should probably do some up in arms to try to get a cracking club at some point. Oh goodness, have they migrated back here now too? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Streaming. I have no idea. I got them super early this morning. Let's see. A bunch of people have been dropping K clubs in Asura this week, probably 380 to 450. I should have probably. No, I don't have the blurred knife on her. I should have summoned a tank to hold this mob. Oh well, we're gonna deal with it. It'll be fine. No, it's not. <laughs> I still have it where she's got her. Uh... Oh my goodness, no! Oh, and Koru's gonna give her flurry. Well. Come here, mom. Thank you. I just need you. No. Come here. Should have summoned a tank. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. <laughs> and it was funny because I was like, I need to summon a tank, and then didn't even think about it, and then summoned everything, and then pulled a mob, and then went, oops. It'll be okay. I just gotta, you know, do doling arrows a whole bunch of times. Oh my goodness. Let me weapon skill it. Hey, Karsha. I've been slowly, like, getting gear for her ranger, but haven't actually, like, touched her ranger, and then I was looking through the forms at, like, the different things people are starting to do with rangers, and I was like, oh yeah, I've been hearing about this whole, uh, savage blading thing. Should probably work on that. I'm like, okay. Since this crab wants to be a jerk. Because, like, I still gotta get her job points in order to get her SU3... So she's wearing the SU3 armor. So I probably can't even wear the blurred knife right now. Because it's SU2. Yeah, I know. It's the same as the, the gun for cores. I don't have to worry about finishing all the trials all the way up. Unless you know I want to be crazy and do that. You know, if I like trials that much. I'm getting tired of chasing this crab. I'm gonna get you over here, crab, eventually. It will happen. We're getting stuff done here. I wanted to come to the crabs for trials because I knew I could weapon skill them a whole bunch without having to worry about pulling mobs. But I don't want to chase it. I forgot to summon a trust at the tank. <laughs> Just face palming at myself about this. This is actually working. Nobody's dying yet. 
And luckily I don't have to be like in the face of the mob. So it's fine. But I will take any tips or tricks from other rangers. I am totally open for feedback. Which right now, don't judge me too harshly. I haven't even put our gear sets together. <laughs> like, literally haven't done anything. You can tell I haven't done anything because it keeps putting it back on her, her CP cape. Make sure you have a range set, too. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's just like I've noticed that too with cores. Like, people only build melee cores. They don't build range cores. So then when they get, like, ambuscades like this month where you really want to range it more than you want to melee it, um, they're just like, oh, I don't have a range set on my core. And then you just sit there and you face palm. Like, why? Why? <laughs> No, when I was originally making her stuff, I was primarily getting range stuff, so she's got a lot of range stuff. She doesn't have a whole lot of melee stuff. Like, I had to go make the Kaja sword for her. She doesn't have a pulse weapon yet, so I still gotta get a pulse weapon for her to make the nagling, but it's at least a start. And from doing too many uh, Aeonics, she's already got the bow there and the gun from there. I want to make the uh, relic bow, not relic bow, the relic gun for her eventually, get Annihilator going. And then people reminded me, they're like, you should get uh, the Aeonic bow. And I'm like, oh, jeez, I have a hard time wanting to go get, uh, Yagrush and, or Yagrush, um, Gambentine or Farsha, which is also the same path as the Aeonic Bow. Like, oh boy. Oh boy. But eventually, eventually. She's also, like, three-fourths of the way done with Gastra. So it it could really go like I could go in so many different directions with her with her ranger. I remember back in the seventy five era leveling uh sub ranger for my corsair. I just whiffed that, didn't I? I did. And having so much fun on Ranger that I almost quit Corsair. Because Core was really bad in the 75 days. In order to play Ranger. So when I actually made Ava, and I was like, I need a range job. I was like, I'm totally playing Ranger. So I have a Core on Claire and I have a Ranger on, <laughs> on Ava. Just so that way I can have super fun with it. I still like it. Even with all the shitty gear <laughs> I have on it right now. Like, still super excited to be building her Ranger. And is Cracking Club really worth it at this point? I feel like you would miss way too much with it. Especially on, like, the endgame content nowadays. I see, a, I see a ranger. Hi, ranger! Are you deep fried chocobo? Oh, don't shake your head at me. I already know I'm a sad basket case of a ranger. <laughs> I don't need to be reminded. <laughs> You gonna come show off? Show off those mad skills? I think you went behind me. Hold on, let me, let me, oh, there you are. Okay. I didn't realize that Tarus do a little spin on Savage Blade. That's kind of interesting. I'm in good hands? Okay, that's good. I'm watching him do spins with Savage Blades. It's actually kind of adorable. With the little chocobo head. I really didn't realize that they spin. Yeah, 
He literally is spinning doing that savage play. Is that a bell in your offhand? Oh, because you probably have Kraken Club in your offhand. Oh. That's adorable, though. And it's funny because uh, I've been stewing stuff with Kelly, and she's a Taru, and we've been wearing our Chocobo outfits a whole lot. So it's been really funny watching us in, like, cutscenes with our little Chocobo outfits. So the fact that he's got a matching ranger outfit with a Chocobo head is just fantastic. How much are your Savage Blades doing? Maybe I should send him a tell. How much are the Savage Blades doing? Because that was one thing I was, like, trying to look at the sets of, like, what gear you would use for Savage Blade, and I'm like, oh boy. 12k, no buffs? That's really good, actually. But yeah. That arrow is ridiculous. Oh, in Odyssey, even. Wow. Does your Kraken Club help a lot in Odyssey, or do you take the Kraken Club off in there? For segments always on. So then what do you think of the the range set from Odyssey? From the tier 3 stuff? While we sit here and watch me horribly whiff these weapon skills. Not really that good. <laughs> I was kind of looking at it for, uh, for my core, too, and I was just, I was... I was conflicted on it. I was like, I don't know. I don't know about it. Yeah, I can see that. I think there was one piece I was looking at because it had like a huge amount of TP bonus on it. But I think that was really the only piece I was like, that looks interesting enough to try to look into. But I think it was only that one piece. And I don't remember what it is because I haven't looked at it in a while. I am, my group wanted to do the climb first before trying to do the tier threes. Um, so that way when the next stuff came out, we would already have the climb done. Then we could just do it ourselves, which is coming out early March. So next version update is coming out. I don't know what they're doing with Odyssey, but they already said that they're doing more content. You're leaving me. No, I'm just, oh, you're making stuff. You're making stuff. Right? <laughs> There's so much lag. So much lag. It's been the, like, main cause of death in my group is lag. Because you'll hit the cure button and then you'll just sit, watch your character just stand there doing nothing and you're like, cure please? And then you'll just spam the button after that and it's still not going off. Mob. Mob. Come back here. You really have no care in the world for me. Oh, I missed that one too. I should probably eat food. Do I really want to eat food? <laughs> I need to augment her pre-run. I need to augment these. Yeah, because your bow... Yeah, I know. I know. I really should eat food. Even before I came out here, I was like, I need to make more arrows. So I made extra arrows. And I was like, just in case. It's such a difference being on ranger versus core for shooting, I feel like. She just plop. But it's also bow versus gun. Like, bows are so much faster. <laughs> so happy about that. Oops. Crack 
crab, you're almost dead. I will almost have a tank trust out here. I know. That is like 100% awesome comparatively to core. Just how much ammo I don't use. I'm just like, I have so much ammo. And that's probably why I've like instinctively made extra ammo because I'm so used to using it in core. Then yeah, there's a lot more recycle gear for Ranger too. I mean, you have the the trait naturally. I probably missed that. Yep. I will eat food after this crap is dead. Was that Imperial Arrow? No, I'm trying to make the TP bonus bow. I do need to CP it though, honestly. I do need to get CP on this job. But I, I think I'm one of those weird people. Oh, Apex Arrow. I have that one. I have it. It's there. I'm not too much of a ditty. <laughs> trying to, uh... I always like to have my gear somewhat make sense before I like try to get into a party for CPing. Because I hate feeling like that person that has to be carried in parties. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I just absolutely hate it. Yup. I'm working on it. We're getting it done. All like Gasta? Oh, I'm so excited. I just have to get Alex for it. And then she'll have it. Because that's really all she's waiting on is just for the Alex. But all the time I wish I could use is... Oh, the Empyrean. The Empyrean bow. Gandiva. Gandiva looks real. I think Gandiva looks fucking cool. Out of all the bows. That one looks awesome. Come on. We're getting there. One percent left. Where where are you going? Come back here. Crap, I know I need a tank. But can you please stop moving so I can kill that last one percent? Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's August. <laughs> please help me. <laughs> uh we'll do this one. Come here, Mr. Crab. <laughs> if you're serious about Ranger, you're going to need a minimum of two wardrobe. Oh, boy! <laughs> I mean, actually, she's got more space than Claire does, so that would be actually okay. So much gear. So much. I already know that I need to probably get augments from Herculean and the Dark Matter campaign just ended and I'm like oh crap for like a better TP set well I guess I could just use Atomar too because the Atomar could take like the head body and hands portion mm. and which Rune Pencer can use as well that she's got So 
You guys can keep making fun of me working on her ranger, but every time you make fun of me, it means I learn something new about it, too, because you'd be like, why aren't you using this? And I'd be like, because I don't know any better. <laughs> Ranger's fun. I definitely am excited to be working on it. I will say, sadly, it's the last job that she needs to master. Can't believe I waited so long. Oh, is there? That's good. I know one thing I need to go do is farm that Unity NM. Uh, the... Centauro. The Antigen for the body piece. And then I gotta augment it because it's really good for True Flight. I remember that. Mm-hmm. See the blue glow, the blue glow of Gastra. Yeah. And when I first saw it, when they announced the augments for Odyssey, I was wondering if it was going to be really good for True Flight. But I was like removing the head and the body. I was like, does the math really equal out correctly? But from a lot of people testing it on their Rangers, they were saying, yeah, it was really good. So just haven't gone back to get it. <laughs> Because her, her ranger was such put on the back line. I feel so bad. But you could tell I've at least, like, looked into things and, like, was like, oh, yeah, I need to go do this and get this. I got, I got somewhat of an idea. <laughs> right now I just look like an LOL core. Not core. Ranger using a lock style of the Imperian bow. Oh, yay! No, I'm not a one sided person. Never, never one sided. You gotta u fully utilize a job. It's just like my warrior on Claire has so much fucking gear. So much gear. I know. When I get to the birds, birds we can do it. Because that's the one I gotta get 300 killing blows on. But that's a while. <laughs> that's like four more trials of me missing. I'm still missing. Dang, Bo, come on, we can do it, Bo. Snapshot. Snapshot. Or sharp shot. Not snapshot. Sharp shot. Do the TP uh, bonus weapons work in groups from only on the killing blows? So, like the ones where you have to do the weapon skill, like this, where I'm just spamming it over and over again. Other people can't help with that, but if it's, like, Odd Trial 2232, which is uh, killing blows 300 times with Imperial Arrow on birds, uh, people can actually help with that. Because all it's trying to register is Imperial Arrow killing birds. So anybody can do that. It's kind of similar in that case when it comes to, like, the Mythic Relics and Inferians, where people who have that specific weapon uh, can do killing blows with those weapon skills as well. Oh, I got an A-plus for the answer. <laughs> Gosh, I remember back in the day when Magian Trials came out originally and trying to make all the summoner staves and the nuking staves and the earth and ice uh, magic accuracy staves so that way you could land slow and paral- or, yeah, slow and paralyzed a little bit better. I had so many, so many trial weapons back then. Oh.
Oh, I ate more. We're so close. I'm nervous. If you're going to keep testing me on stuff, I'm going to be like, oh, man. I got to like, oh, you're leaving. Oh, wow. No. No. <laughs> Just cry over here. Bet it's not like the old days where like all these people afking you come like kill yourself by them and then as the mobs would move back they would just aggro everybody and just like slowly kill them as they move their way back <laughs> it's just darn such a missed opportunity here <laughs> you coming out here but yeah if you ever see me streaming and my ranger looks like it's doing awful you let me know and i will fix it somehow i will fix it don't tempt him <laughs> the downside is uh most of the time people see ava she's on geo so it's very rare when I get to pull her out on one of the other jobs she has. And then when I do, people, like, panic. They're like, that's not Ava. Ava's always in on Geo. Hi! How's it giving you a headache? That's no good. Is it the bright colors? Or is it the music? You know, when you eat food, this goes so much faster. Uh, and actually, when you have a tank truck, so you know, hold your mom. Okay, one trial down. Let's warp out of here. Blast arrow on 200. We're going to be coming right back here. Ba -na -na. And we're out. Oh, just texted. Oh, oh. It's so bright. Oh, thanks so much for the follow. I really appreciate that deep fried chocobo. Yeah. It is. It's almost as if it was playing on your screen. We're gonna skip this song. Oh. The heck is my husband singing? Holy moly. Game, I need to take the weapon off. Thank you. We'll put fail not back on. It is up here somewhere. Wait, where is it? There it is. One down. So the next one is 1814. Got it. Okay. Oh, oh, not the box. Want to trade the Moogle. I didn't even try to get my arrows back. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. It's okay though. I'm surprised how well the Ashira Harness goes with the Ranger pants. I have never seen. I never want to see this Moogle on my own screen, okay? <laughs> Apparently we're going to stare at Ava's chest for, for a second. Have you been doing a lot of trial stuff with that Moogle? Yeah. 
You know what's sad is there's actually a Moogle up here that doesn't get used anymore. So this Moogle right here, on the left with the little green palm, you used to get job specific emotes from him after doing the quest for job specific necklaces at level 30. But nobody uses them anymore because you, you just unlock the job and you have the job specific emotes now. You don't have to go do a little quest to go <laughs> to go get them. <laughs> and then like throw the level 30 <laughs> level 30 torque away because you've already have the already way higher than that. It's like easy but the wiki doesn't explain it well. I, uh, yeah, I can see that. I'm so used to the trials that I know where to go and how it, this whole works from this being in its prime and doing it. But if you're brand new, I've had multiple people ask me about trials and how they work and figuring out which ones to do. Yeah. So I get it. It is definitely understandable. It's even like on some of the, um, there's certain quests that like don't, dumb things down or explain things very well. Hi, bunny! Uh, so they can be even complicated to try to read and figure out what you need to do or how to start. Like, Void Watch is one of those things that, like, people are like, oh yeah, you know, once you've unlocked Void Watch and gotten, you know, all the way through the cities being completed and got through Tier 4 Juno, you know, you can unlock Empyrean weapon skills. And people are like, what? <laughs> How do you do Void Watch? And there's like nothing that tells you how to start Void Watch. They're just like, yeah, you just gotta get to Judo Tier 4 and you can do it. It's like, <laughs> it's like, well, you see, you gotta start in the cities first. Get your key items, get your stones. And then you can, once you beat all the items there, then you can, you know, go to Juno. I know, we need to play Phasmo. We need to do some Phasmo Night. Maybe tomorrow we'll do Phasmo night. How does that sound? Do some Phasmo when I get off work tomorrow? Your pictures were pretty, by the way. I saw them on Facebook. They were super pretty. Okay, here we go. Back in we go. I'm going to summon a tank trust this time. I'm going to remember to do that. <laughs> Are you going to be streaming tonight or tomorrow? I did see Fuzzy was on 11 earlier. Sadly, I was at work or I would have joined him. I was so sad. Still a dead person. Tomorrow you're going to stream? Okay. I'll have to tune in. I try to lurk in people's streams while I'm at work so I have something to watch. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. I need to go get her Almia. She can get Almia right now, and I just don't have her. We'll do him instead. Go oh, grab this crab. Crab. Okay. Put the right bow on. <laughs> okay, blast arrow. Blast. Blast arrow. There it is. I was about to be like, uh, why don't I have blast arrow? There's, there's something wrong with this picture. 
last arrow. Go! I can do this. I'm gonna smack the shit out of this mob with blast arrow. Smack him with that bow. Two hundred times. Do do do. Oh, somebody's almost at their five hundred payout. It's kind of crazy seeing how many people actually buy JP. Like, it's really crazy. Bots don't like you there? Do you get into their parties and then D2 them? There was somebody doing that for a while. That was D2ing the bots that were out here. I don't even remember who it was, but I remember the shouts being about it. No, because if I see poo there, there's no mobs. <laughs> I used to come out here and CP a lot. Um, just to try to mess with the bots as well, too. Actually, there was one bot that um, my group ended up killing. And he had auto re-raise on. So we just kept raising him, watching him Dia a mob nearby. And then him dying again. And we did this the entire time we were CPing. Like, our mage had nothing better to do. So he would just raise them, watch them get up, dia the mob next to them, die, do it again. <laughs> it was just this vicious cycle. We were hoping we were going to de-level them. Because we were giving them raise ones. Watching them get up and just keep doing this over and over again. We were sad to say that we did not de-level them with how many times we did it. Because you don't lose as much EXP as you used to anymore because of the Rhapsody's gifts. Like, it's really hard to de-level in this game now. Did you guys get all the jobs you wanted master during this last campaign? I know I got Ava's Dark Knight mastered. I was super happy about that. That's when I started looking into more ranger stuff. I already had them mastered, but helped some people out get mastered. Nice. Yeah, Claire doesn't need any mastered jobs. But I did bring her out when I was uh, getting CP on Ava's Dark Knight. Was doing bard stuff on there. But Ranger is Ava's last job that I need to master. And then she will be all done. I do not need to master any more jobs for her. You know, other than mastering the gear and the inventory. <laughs> but still a skill I need to learn is mastering the inventory. I keep uh, looking at my Luas and updating them periodically just in case. And if I'm go through them all, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't use this piece of gear. I'll mule it. Just in case it's like, I'll figure out later on that I still needed it. And I was like, oops, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'll go bring it back. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Harsha. Hi. Ba ba ba. <laughs> How are you? Hung 
hungry. Well, hopefully you can get some nice food to quench that hunger before you start getting hangry. Oh goodness, my uh, Odyssey group yesterday got was so hangry during the last one. We just were like, before we even started it, we're like, okay, does anybody need to go do anything? And we're like, ah, we're a little hungry, but you know, we can wait. And then the line was so long. By the time we got out, we were just all like on edge, ready to just murder each other. <laughs> It's just like, we all probably should have ate before this. <laughs> Marsha. Oh, Bunny. Are you still here? Bunny, Bunny. I was wondering if you would like Final Fantasy more if you had a max level job that you could gear up and play uh, with Fuzzy with. If that would be more fun, because I know the leveling process in 11 can be a little bit grindy and not so much fun. Do, do, do. I skill chained it. Oh no, I didn't. He skill chained with me. We're getting through this August. We're almost a fourth way done. Probably use this. Oh, let me use it. Bum, 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 bum. Getting through these trials. August is showing off his archery moves. Nope, that's fine. Mm, nope. Boop. Yeah, I eventually gotta make double shot or SU3 armor once I get up there. So for those that have been doing Odyssey and getting the new equipment, what are you hoping to see in this month's version update that's coming up here around the corner? You hoping they just add to tier three? No lag. <laughs> Fixing the lag issue? That would be fantastic. Are you hoping that they keep it on tier three? Fixing the legs? I'd have to look at the legs. If they'd give me free gill. <laughs> I'm always broke. I am not the person to ask about getting gill. <laughs> but yeah, free gill would be nice. I'm always broke. I'm just trying to think, like, what they're going to try to come out with. The de oh, that's right. They did mention that. It was like as a killer effect instead of the actual DT. I don't want a tier 4 yet. Tier 3 is killing the gill bank. Yeah. 
Yep. That's six mil a piece. And then you gotta aug augment it. I haven't even looked into the augmenting process yet. Do you think they might try to make Odyssey a alliance type thing? Or do you think they're going to keep it a six man thing? Because I know like Odyssey, not Odyssey, uh, Omen originally started off as a six man content and then they eventually turned it into a alliance based content. You hope it stays six man? I do like six man stuff. I like the difficulty of Odyssey. I like that they are bringing back some more difficult content. Because everything was starting to get a little too easy. So having ghouls are really nice to getting that content back up. Oh, have you been doing the whole doing one of the tier threes and then restocking your segments and then going back into doing it one more time, like just one at a time, or have you been doing uh, all three and having to make sure you have the job combos? Oh, that's true. The fact that you don't have sub jobs. Yes. That is also true. Always keep two megaphones too. Yeah. Since my group has been climbing, we've been using all three at once. But once we get to the tier threes, we're going to be going to that method of doing one at a time. I did like that mechanic, though. I thought it was interesting because it really makes people think of job combos. Uh, instead of having to be like, oh, you know, we have to stick with what always works. Like, trying to think of different combinations of jobs. I thought that was interesting. It allows me to play Ava's pup more often, too, which is fun. Because I don't get to play her puppet master very often. Like the moment you get Idris, you're just stuck on Geo forever. Hi, how are you? I missed. Let's try that again. Gotta get one in a day. Gotta get one a day. Got to get one one day. Oh, I can read a sentence. Finer than a frog hair split three ways. <laughs> That's so fine. That's super fine. Talking about getting an Idris. It really wasn't that bad. I was actually surprised by, like, the little missions in order to get Idris. I thought they were going to be a lot harder than they actually were. She was a super newbie Geo when I originally got it. Because I basically made her, turned her into a Geomancer, and then, like, specifically just worked on doing everything to get her Geo, get her Idris right away. Yeah. The whole six months. Yep. Yep. Does Ranger still have sweet spot where they do more damage to certain ranges? Yes, they do. And it does vary depending on which type of ranged weapon they're using as well, too. And if they're wearing true shot gear, they get even more of a bonus when they're standing in the correct spot. But as you can tell, I am certainly not doing that. <laughs> I never really was able to get that sweet spot without a distance calculator. So the game actually kind of 
gives you hints. They added, like, if I walk a little bit farther back, you know, and don't miss. See, like, that's strikes true. So, I am in true shot range if I stand here. But see, I'm too far away for this weapon skill. So, I have to be in range for this one. But, like, if I was too far back, like, if I ran even farther back here. So, we'll go 15 and we shoot. And, of course, not miss. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want... Well, I'm using that now. <laughs> Just use my two hour. Why not? See, they say squarely. So, I'm not in that specific range. So, then you would kind of, like... Do I need to move up? So you'd move up a little bit. Okay, still hitting squarely. You might try to move back, or you could just move up a little bit more. I think it was eight. See, now I'm hitting true. So it's kind of nice that they do that. Yeah, me too. I tend to just ignore the mechanics since most of the content is either face-to-face -face or 20 plus unless they're trying harder for bigger numbers. Yeah. Yep. That is very true. Oh, my food wore. Oh, I gotta eat my food. I should pull up just more than just one. Not be a failure here. I'm wondering wh where they got the idea of the certain distance in order to do um, true shots and everything, too. Like, where the calculations came into mind. So when I'm actually building my range set, then, do I really need to use true shot gear? Or does that not really work as much because you're not in true shot range? I miss the Sidewinder Slugshot spams. Oh, I remember those days. That's min-maxing hard. <laughs> Get the Lua set up that it's like if you're in such distance away from the mob, use, use True Shot set. <laughs> True Shot is mainly for white damage, like for Empyrean. Gotcha. Shami is so good when you first start a character. Side wonder, yep. I found out. I was in, um, I think it was in Yatunga Jungle. And I pulled out Valinarial for my tank. And he used Savage Blade. I'm like, how do you have Savage Blade so early? <laughs> You're not supposed to have that until, like, way later down the road. <laughs> <laughs> it was he broke the game somehow and like magically got it right poor try on Uh, my friend Jeff, when he was playing, he was he swore by Tryon. He's like, Tryon's one of the best tanks. And then we took him into Sinister Rain and he got August. And now all he wants to use is August. <laughs> I mean, you might care about distance more when using Empyreans, but depending on how you want to play, that's true. Thanks so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. I know, I gotta learn all of the ways of Ranger. Gotta get some food, craft, and binge. There you go. I have a bunch of, like, tedious little things to do in this game right now. Like, work on my crafting shield to get that done. Especially with the fact that the ranger set is made by Bonecraft. I was like, oh. 
Wait, is it? I thought I'd fight. No, I think it's woodworking. It's probably woodworking. SU3. Come here. Needless to say, I need to make both those shields anyway. And eventually cloth craft shield for her. We'll show set. Let's see. Yeah, it's woodworking. I mean, my woodworker can make it right now because she's got the stage four shield, but she won't have the, the like, chance to HQ it nonstop or break until she finishes the stage five. Although, I will say, the camps, in order to work on crafting shields, have died down. They have been getting a lot of the bots out there. Which is really nice. Okay, so, I got a couple of rangers in here right now. What do you think of the omen body still? For Ranger. Is it still good? Is it still worth trying to get? You rarely use it? I would use it if Double Shot is down and using an Empyrean AM3. See, I use them in some mid shots. Gotcha. Is the SU3 still really good for double shots for a ranger? Or is there other stuff now? But Relic Body plus 3 will be mostly for double shots. Ah. That answered that one. At least for the body piece. Oh, because wait, that changes it to quadruple shot, doesn't it? Or triple shot, the body piece does? I believe it like increases it a tier. Yeah, okay. See, I kind of remember. This is all going off memory. Body and legs still in my sets. Oh, gotcha. Do do do. Halfway done. See, I like these conversations, though. The back and forth talking about stuff. It's nice to get info and find out if uh, things have changed from what I last read from when I was playing this job previously. Because I don't know if you can see, like, the blip of when my range shot goes off, what my mid-cast set ends up being. Because I worked on this slightly before, and then got sidetracked and stopped working on it. Because I know I made a few ambu capes for it, too. Which I probably don't need as many as I have. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Or I might need more. Maybe there's more capes that I just haven't made that I need to have that are like must-haves. Oh, yep, there's one. I, I don't have a melee cape. You got me. You got me on that one, Kiko. using my CP cape right now. <laughs> I'm 
Magic dam. I think I have a magic damage one. Because I think I was building more true flights at the time. Oh, I saw you again. My crab turned me around. Hold on. Let me run this way. Are you going to just kill yourself again? I'm going to be really sad if you do that. Well, let's see. Capes. Hold on. So, that one. I forget why I made that one. I guess that maybe I was testing something out. There's my crit one. That's a strength one versus an agility one. Yeah, strength versus an agility. Agility. Agility crit. What that has dex on it. So. Oh, you know what? I think that one was for just new. I think that's what I made that one for. A snapshot. I'm gonna have to go through all of my capes and like try to remember what they all were. Yeah, I mainly true flight, so I always forget about true shot and the cracking club thing or the Casey thing. There you are. Hello. What are you murdering over here? What job are you murdering on? Are you on Ranger again? The bot issue solved. <laughs> oh no! I gotta put arrows on. Like Casey is always up close, so no true shot. That's true, yeah. They're all intimidated. So intimidated. I'm trying to see what job you're on. I can't see. <laughs> if you got uh, Gandiva, it's worse since you need a dex cape. Yeah, that's what I saw. I had a dex cape. I don't have Gandiva. I know I eventually planned on making Gandiva for her, so that's probably why I made it. So that way I already can figure out the inventory space for it. Do, do, do. Are we on Ninja? Is that Ninja? The Ninja? Ninja is also super cool. That crab really wants to dance on top of you. Ninja! Let's swing around here. Go through my crab. Swing around. There we go. But I think out of all of the Remas for Ranger, I think I want to make Annihilator first. Because I feel like I have an enmity problem right now on Ranger. So having Gandiva won't necessarily like fully help with that, but that's true. It's also not very expensive. But Durs, Durs is a thing. I remember, okay, so funny story about Durs. So when it was a, when we were doing first range strats on Ambuscade. Like, it was when Ambuscade was kind of new. It was before the fixed bard merits to where you actually had to merit Dirge and um, the Emnity Plus one. And I remember telling people that I should get off Corsair and change to bard so I could give everybody Dirge. And they're like, nobody merits those those songs. And I was like, I put one merit into both of them so that way I could at least have them for these cases. And I was like, I remember the Emnity plus one and the Emnity minus ones being so good. 
And they were just like, no, it sounds stupid. And then I started doing it. Like, would just come bard and would give them the normal songs plus dirge. And they realized that they weren't having mobs go after them as much. Especially on, like, cores. Because cores versus rangers. Cores always going to pull hate before the ranger. Uh, just because of all the gear that ranger has. And they were just so surprised. And I'm like, I told you these were fantastic. And then you also get a scholar with the negative enmity uh, spells too. And they stack. And then you really don't have to work. You're just <laughs> giving the tank enmity plus. And then eventually Essie was just like, you know what? We're not going to make people choose between songs and actual merits. So we're going to take those out of there and give them to you at full full effect and so now everybody's got dirge and foe and it's just funny though I use Annihilator a lot more than Gastra yeah the only reason she's so close on Gastra uh, is because when I work on Claire's mythics I was dragging her with me so she got all of the books done uh, she's got so many Dizel Isle tokens and Icker from doing uh, Ein Harriar with Claire. Like, if I go... Just pull this up real quick. She's got almost 400,000 Icker now. She's only got almost 500k Alec or tokens. But she just doesn't have the Alex. So, like, I could bust out Mythics on her pretty easily. I hate doing doing Nizel Isle. <laughs> I need to move the tokens over to Claire, because Claire needs tokens right now. Because uh, I'm working on Conqueror on her. That's the other thing is, like, I'm trying to get all the Rima's made on Claire, and then I was going to slowly start working on Ava's. But, like, she's got no other relics, really, to make. So I could make uh, Annihilator on Ava, and it really wouldn't matter. And that would already boost her up a lot better than what she's currently using. I mean, she's got Foam, but she would pull a lot of hate using Foam versus Annihilator. Plus, I, to be honest, Annihilator looks fucking cool comparatively to Foam. Foam is not the greatest looking gun. I'm sorry. I, it does not look very good. I never used Foam on my Ranger, to be honest. I got it for the bullets, yeah. Yep, I could see that. It's just like when I was debating on getting Fail Knot for Aeonix. I was like, well, one, Aeonix are really easy to make. And then two, like, just being able to have those arrows. I was just like, why not? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> also the name, yeah. Fail not. It's just so purple and gold. I'll eventually have to make a uh, annihilator, not annihilator, um, arm again for if the if I want to do white damage stuff. But wildfire is so terrible now. I don't know. Maybe maybe Rangers got some stuff for wildfire that I just haven't gotten or looked into quite yet. Ba, ba, ba. Ranger has more for the AM3. Gotcha. There's so many mobs. So many mobs. Bum bum bum. I missed. <laughs> I'm 
Empyrean plus AM3 plus white damage plus camouflage equals hot. <laughs> I do remember there being a bonus for having camouflage up. I do remember that. But a lot of people don't know about camouflage. Isn't it the Empyrean? Do you have to keep the Empyrean body? I think it's the Empyrean body. Or it's the AF body. I know it's a body piece that has the camouflage stuff on it. I'm trying not to look. Oh. I'm going to say it's AF. AF has camouflage. Watch it be Relic and I didn't even mention it at all. <laughs> Isn't it like a higher crit rate too while in, while camouflage is in effect? Yeah. I know stuff. <laughs> I got this. I usually pop double shot camouflage and shoot away if I have super buffs. Nice. And it's an RA fight. Do you use the the dagger from Glaze Main augmented? I know she's got the normal quality. I still got a plus one hers. I mean, unless I don't have to. Can I steal one of your crabs? Can I can I steal a crab? <laughs> I'm just like slowly walking over. Oh, you got the Kikoku, the relic dagger or relic katana. The blow up. Oh, if these, I gotta move that these are gonna slowly walk back. <laughs> oh no, they didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh dang it, I did it again. This is a close range weapon skill. Close range weapon skill, because I gotta hit the mob. I got scared. <laughs> I'm just a little newbie ranger trying to do these weapon skills. We're getting there, though. Oh, Kiko! I forgot to mention that Murr ended up doing the Farsha Zerd. And they did end up winning it. So... The first round apparently didn't go very well because the first just desserts didn't get stunned. But they ended up trying it again and with it getting stunned they did end up winning with him doing solo Farsha. And he was super excited about it. But sadly I wasn't there when they did it because I was at work. So I wasn't streaming it. So you may not believe me. But they did do it! I could hear him screaming off the top of his lungs about how excited he was that they won doing it. Bye! I just saw you, HP. Do do do! I was actually thinking of leveling Ninja on Calicory, which is the mule that I've been playing with Kelly with. Have fun playing on a different job on her. But that way I don't have to worry about, like, inventory problems and, like, have all the space. <laughs> Mer tells me I just need to level, well, like, play all 22 jobs. And I was like, but... 
there's so much gear I wouldn't be able to use because I have such little inventory space otherwise. I started it three weeks ago since I came back to the game. Awesome fun solo. Nice. I've seen some people doing a lot better magic bursting with it. I don't know if it's because of Matsuri P. People are all of a sudden like, oh man, you can magic burst on ninja. And so people have been starting to do that again. But I've been seeing that slowly coming back on the ninja forms too. I know it's always been good, but, you know, there's the people that are just like LOL ninja nuking sort of thing. And I got Murr in the other room that, like, tries to do, do everything everybody says is terrible. <laughs> like when he started pulling out Farsha and, like, showing people that Fencer Warriors were good. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, did you guys know that there's this thing called Farsha? And then all of a sudden a whole bunch of people start popping up with Farshas. With a Geo easily hit... Cap damage. Oh. Nice. That's fantastic. Yes, Lua. I know I don't have Flurry on. No geo on these mobs is about 60k, I think. That's still really good, though. Like, to be honest. That's that's fantastic. I remember uh, when I was working on Scholar, back when people used to do mana burn parties out here on crabs, because the crabs were actually too hard for people to solo at the time, and being excited about getting cap damage magic burst, I was like, oh, I, I can do a thing! <laughs> I kind of miss them, because it felt like old school Final Fantasy XI, like when you used to bring like a black mage and you would have them sit there and do magic burst, like all the magic bursting and people setting up skill chains. They don't do it anymore. The moment they fixed Geo, I guess I shouldn't say fix, the moment they, they altered Geo, really got rid of the, the mana burns, the death burns. Because, like, those strategies really nobody does anymore. And that used to be huge when I first came back to the game. Because I came back in 2016 and been slowly building my characters up. I mean, I still need a lot of gear, but they're at least a lot better than what they were when I came back originally. Ava didn't even exist. Twenty six more to go. Did you play from release? I actually didn't. Um, I started Final Fantasy Eleven when Wings of the Goddess was brand new, which was two thousand seven is when I started. It's like two thousand seven, two thousand eight. And then I played up until a couple of weeks after Seekers was released. And when Seekers was released, um, I was debating on getting it. I hadn't purchased the expansion yet, so I didn't have access to them. But I, I clearly remember seeing King Galka in Port Juno wearing... I didn't know at this time. He was wearing this great sword that I found out much later was like easy to obtain. But wearing this great sword that beat out every single piece of equipment that I had at the time. And I actually had Empyreans made and was like super excited about the fact that I had Empyreans made. Uh, and they were just complete trash. Like my every slot was beat out by this one weapon. And I'm just like... Why did I even, like, work so hard on getting this equipment now if this one weapon just makes everything look like garbage and just quit right after that? And then came back three years later in 2016 because I missed the game so much and my Canadian friend was like, I want to play games with you again. Why don't you get back on 11? I'm going to be playing. So, and then I haven't stopped since. 
This game's too addicting. Do 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 sweet do it. But Murr's played since release. So he's played way longer than I have. And he didn't take a three year break. He, he started back on PS2 while I was on PC. So, like, our play styles are, are different. It's really funny. Uh, if you ask us how to do something, he plays one way and I play another way. Yeah, release date, I was Black Mage, so I used to mana burn to 75 real quick compared to other jobs. Yeah. I remember when I started, mana burns were already gone. And so, Black Mages would level up off of pets. So they would know all the pet camps. And you would go to all the Gygas that had, or just any mob that would summon a pet, and you would just kill their pets. I had one friend that was showing me about doing that. It made me, like, not want to level Black Mage at all. I ended up leveling Scholar, which, my goodness, I still love Scholar. Scholar was fun. But yeah. But I, like, feared what <laughs> having to go do that for black mage so i went scholar and did the main healing in parties i did not want to do dancer at first when i first saw it i thought it was going to be stupid leveled it for a sub job for warrior absolutely loved it took it to 75 Yeah, when you talk about Dancer and what Dancer does, you're just like, that doesn't sound, what? That sounds so dumb. And you're just watching these characters dance around and everything, and then you actually play it, and you're just like, I can do so many things! <laughs> was a tanking Dancer for the longest time. Yep. It was so much fun. I used to tank Glavoid back in the beginning of Abyssia era. Tanking Glavoid on Dancer was so much fun. I felt replaced when I was a red mage along the lines of soloing, so I hated it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. How many people were around during the original Abyssia, Abyssia days when it first came out? I know a lot of, I heard a lot of people quit during that era and that was like one of my favorite things to do. Then again I was weird and I liked ZNMs, so I did ZNMs too. You quit at that time, never entered. I will say going into Abyssia now versus when it was in its prime, they definitely feel even different to this day because back then the procs actually weren't that bad. Because you could group up with people and do the procs because you were all trying to get the ultimate, the ultimate goal. But now we had real gear that gave special stuff instead of plus one. And that's true, yes. Um, but now going into Abyssia, it's almost tedious because nobody wants to go in there and do it. Nobody wants to farm the stuff needed. Uh like ninjas thrived in abyssia era because they were able to do all the procs yeah you would usually have like a black mage sub bard to get majority of the procs there and you would have a ninja sub warrior to get all the procs on that side and then you would have a thief and then you didn't really need a healer because you were just so dang strong but some people just brought a dancer or a white mage in order to do the heals. But most of the time, you could duo anything with a monk as your tank. Uh, you could duo anything almost with a ninja as your tank. Like, a lot of Kanagis were being made. A lot of Masamunes were being made because Sam's were ridiculous. Uh, there was a lot of Armas being made. Twash was also ridiculous. 
Oh, I need three more. I gotta pull one more. You know what, bat? Come here, bat. Oh, but it was really fun when it was originally released. I really enjoyed it. Epidemic was the only scary one if he leveled up back then. <laughs> yes. Yes, he was. You just kind of cross fingers. But that was when you really started seeing the level up system, too. Because you didn't really see too many mobs level up before then. Also, the increasing in mobs' levels, like, as you were killing them in groups. Being able to kill mobs in alliance and still get, like, tons of experience. But literally, like, as mobs were dying, they would start leveling up. And then as you left them alone, they would all despawn and de-level back down to what they originally were. That was an interesting concept, too. At some point, I do still want to go through there. No more buffaloes. <laughs> well, there was the doll camp, the worm camp, the buggered camp, the, um, the buffalo camp. I'm trying to think. Because Grauberg was buggards. Altepa Alte was dolls. Ulegron was buffaloes. Lefen was worms. Geron or Conchet was also buggards. Yeah. Because if you did buggards in um, Conchet, you had a chance of getting the dark rings. And so you had people trying to fight over the boxes and for those. Um, I believe in Coast, if you got the boxes, you had a chance of the, the light earring. I think it had refresh. You could find one with refresh on it. Yeah. Oh, man, those charged whisker parties. I never actually paid for anything, but yeah. No, it's just, like, crazy. I had to think for a second where I was going again. Probably. So I probably won't be able to finish this trial because I got work in the morning. But we'll see how far we go. Okay. Do I remember original Bissia? Finding an LS, doing things as 18 people, and then eventually shrinking down to two. <laughs> and then just duoing a lot of things. Trade this back in. Yep. Black Mage Subbard. Or even some of them didn't even go Subbard because they didn't want the only having the one prox with the Serenity, so they just ended up going sub-white mage for the additional prox that they got sub-white mage, so they didn't even... They could heal and then do those prox still, too. But at the same time, you didn't even really need to heal because the ninja never took damage. You just shadow tanked everything. Okay, plantoids. Well, I don't need to kill them. There's anti there's apex plantoids somewhere. Where's some high level plantoids? Oh, I know where some are. Seagates. don't face them. Yeah, getting countered. I won't have as much of a countering problem because I don't have Crafty Club, but yes, that is true. I was wondering, I was thinking of the snap weeds.
Okay. We'll do, we'll go try that. We'll go see how well that works out. Oh, a little taru core. You think you did Mandy's? Okay. Let's go refresh this real quick. Are they near the leeches? In Seagates? Yeah, okay. <laughs> nope, not hunting grounds. <laughs> do 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 Because I know there's the Rafalias and Cyrodiil Caverns. They're not as high a level as the Apex ones. But they have some annoying moves too. And there's a bunch of those poison plants everywhere by them. I mean, technically I could farm cards for shields, but... It's not like I need to kill them very quickly. Okay. Kind of near those two pools. Camera, what are we doing? Here we go. Do, 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 do. So we're going to skip that one. I'm going to keep going up this way. Pepsi Taru! What are you wearing, Pepsi Taru? Oh, you're wearing exactly what you have on. That's a lot of Odyssean. Look at you. Okay. Do the Mandy's link. Or Chipuli. Are Chipuli considered plantoids? Probably not. They're probably considered like beast or something. Let's see. I think they're up here. Mandy! Oh goodness, there's people out here. Is there going to be... Oh, okay, there's still so, there's still a couple. I only need one. Oh, they're vermin. I guess because they're a bug. Yeah. But he'll actually put resistance to sleep on himself or like sleep immunity. So he shouldn't be put to sleep. He'll be able to wake everybody else up with his potions, which is nice. You! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gosh, counter for 218. His counter hurts more than his actual move. What do I need to do? Arching arrow. Wait, did I... I did not put it back on. Did I actually put the trial on it? I put the trial on it. Do, do, do. I forgot to scavenge. I forgot to replenish my arrows. Arching arrow. Oh, I'm asleep. You're not supposed to be sleeping, Mombro. Mombro. 
August. August, we have a problem here. August. I don't have Eevee. Nor do I have Yorin. There we go. Hey ya! <laughs> so need to do Shen Total Quests in order to get Eevee. Haven't done those. So there's that. Technically I could change unities and get Yorin. That wouldn't be too much problem. I think I would have to wait for the next week though. Is it a week? Or a next evaluation? Have to get the 5k accolades before he'll show up in my list. This one's actually hitting for quite a bit. And whatever set I have on, it's I mean, okay, don't get me wrong, 5k is trash, but comparatively <laughs> to, like, the 1,000s I was doing, I'm like, this mob's dying a little bit faster. <laughs> but at the same time, it's crabs versus mandies. Mandy's gonna die a lot faster than a crab is. Then again, I did Arciella instead of the bard. Probably switch her out. Do do do. See how far we can get in this trial before I have to log off. Dang, work getting in the way. I was actually late on getting on today, too. I usually stream right after I get off work. But made dinner for Mur and I. And just, like, chilled for a second. And then I was like, okay, I could be chilling while I work on trials. <laughs> Must be somebody that probably picked up a pearl before that nobody was talking in. I have my pearls in the concierge, so anybody can pick them up. I should probably see if I need to replenish those at all. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. But does everybody have a good Monday so far? Depending on your time zone, it might already be Tuesday. Dun, 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 dun. Tuesday? Yeah, I have a friend that lives in the UK, and I don't get to do a whole lot of stuff with him at all, because he, he has a standard work schedule, like the 8 to 5, so he has to usually be in bed by the time I get off work, and... Uh, Discord info. Discord. Copy. Paste. I 
I really... Hello! Uh oh, we're gonna have the... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nope. Oh yeah. That's right, when you pull out your weapons, they don't, uh... They don't let you get rid of them. I forget about that. Somebody's waving to you. <laughs> you are a popular one. There we go. Boop. He looks like he's on Puppet Master, maybe. Dun 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 Hello Mia I'm trying to kill this as fast as I can. Arching arrow. Do you plan on staying in party or are you just gonna do the buffs the one time? Do do do. Okay. So then what we'll do is after this one's dead, I'll have you invite me to party, and then if you just want to pass me leader back, that way I can just summon trust right away. Am I out? I'm asleep again. <laughs> there we go. Old school Mantiel. <gasps> no, don't examine me. <laughs> it's too scary. <laughs> it's gonna ruin the vision. Blinded by the noobness of this ranger here. We're getting there. We will eventually not be a noob. It will happen at some point. And then I can say I'm a cool ranger like you. Dun, 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 dun. And I believe it's complete rhapsodies. I think that's the other thing you need. <laughs> Pretend.
Tinny to sit on top of the Mandy. Oh no! I'm just gonna be stuck. Not actually holding a bow. It's like... I don't know what I'm trying to do to my sword. <laughs> Boo -doo -doo. Okay. Oh, nope. Missed. The one time I didn't need it to miss. Okay. There we go. So here, you invite me, and then you can pass me leader and I'll summon trust. Bypass this whole thing. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Okay. Hi, Diana. Are the Bonanza marbles still being sold for the new weapons? I don't even remember. I just saw your Chocobo dagger, and it just reminded me of that. Hey, it's another ranger. Hi, ranger. Don't make fun of me. Oh, you're working on it too, it looks like. I'm going to cheer you on. You're, you're way back there, though. I'm, I'm still going to cheer you on. Yeah, there we go. I did it. Ba ba ba. Here we go. Ooh, we can do it again. Do it again. Spell that. No, the sleeps. Ninety five or higher. Beat tab and get. See how fast we can do this now. Bum, 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 bum. No, Ava, stop running away. <laughs> yeah. Blared would definitely help with having the multi attack in my hand. In my off hand. That would definitely be very helpful. I'll have to get that. Is it 100 JP? SU 200? I don't remember. I think it is. Which isn't too far.
Team Gladys dagger. I think I looked at it, but I don't think I looked closely at it. I'm going to pull it up here real quick. Dagger. Dagger, dagger, dagger. The knife. Oh, with the triple attack 6% on it? And the crit hit rate? What are the augments on it? More attack and a little bit of accuracy? That is kind of nice, though, to have the 6% the triple attack on it. Get back here. I'm getting close to the potpourri on her. I'm so excited. Probably going to have to use the potpourri in order to get a pulse weapon. You get a lot of potpourri, by the way, doing Odyssey. So for those that are spamming Odyssey that need pulse weapons... Make sure to get the potpourri. <laughs> so much potpourri. It's interesting that the dagger also has haste on it. Like, it's got haste plus 2% on it. I think I just get surprised every time I keep seeing haste on weapons. Because I'm, I'm always like, are we that haste starved? But I guess it just really depends on the builds. Because some builds might be haste starved and need the hit two, like the random two percent haste that like this knife gives. But having crit hit rate five percent and triple attack six percent is really nice. I think for thieves, I think thieves kind of wish it would have been triple critical hit damage versus because there's not a lot of pieces that have critical hit damage on them. But it does look like a nice offhand dagger, even just for accuracy reasons. Oh yeah. <laughs> heavy heavy DDs do have a harder time with haste, because even like when Saleva came out for Ambuscade, there's like no haste on it. Oh yeah. Are the male uh, malevolences from? Sinister Rain still worth it for True Flights to have two malevolences from there. Or are there better weapons now for True Flights? Oh. Still useful using Kraken Club? Gotcha. I do, I really want to ask this question because I keep looking at it and I keep going, why? <laughs> what is with the SU-5 crossbow? Oh, gotcha. Okay. But in your guys' opinions. Holy bolts, I guess. <laughs> Because, like, some of the SU-5 weapons are, like, really good. And then I was like, I wonder what Ranger's SU-5 weapon is. And then I pulled up the crossbow, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was honestly surprised. And then I saw you had to craft your own bullets, too. And I'm just like, uh, why? Why? <laughs> But it was nice to see that if you crafted the ammo, that it's at least it crafts in a stack, regardless if you HQ it or not. So you don't have to worry if, um, like, getting 33, 66, or 99 based off of your HQ rate. So I thought that was at least decent of them to do. But are those bolts better than... Like the bolts you'd get from Gastra. Because that's really the weapon you'd be using is with Gastra. I 
I guess I was kind of hoping for like more of a physical uh, weapon for a crossbow because the only crossbow options I have is Gastra. But there's no other real crossbows for rangers. I mean, they have multiple guns and they have multiple bows, but they only have the one crossbow. Oh, yeah. Old acid bolts. Oh, I remember. I remember pulling with acid bolts back in the day. Right? New Odyssey crossbow is like a mini Gastra. See, this shows you how much of the Odyssey weapons I actually looked at. I looked at the club and became sad because it didn't really provide too much. Let's look at this crossbow. Oh, I guess it's more kind of on the physical side, though, comparatively to Gastra, because it's got the accuracy and attack on it. It's got store TP, which is kind of nice. No, it's more physical. I mean, it even got has the weapon skill damage plus 10% on it, which is kind of nice. I don't know if it would beat out a gun versus a crossbow. That's really the difference, because they both use the same weapon skills between the two. Forty-five ranged attack? Oh no, that'd be seventy-five ranged attack if you got the augment on it? That's a lot of ranged attack. And fifty-five ranged accuracy. The crit hit rate again is nice, so if you'd stack that with the dagger too, that's a lot of that's ten percent in just your weapon and your range. And then if you use torret, you get more critical hit rate. So there's that as well too. Just all the crit build, just crit all the time. But yeah, it would just be the de determination on if the physical damage from a crossbow would be able to out DPS the physical damage based off of a gun. Bullet versus bolts. That's true. They The uh, bubbles do take a decrease inside Odyssey. They're not as potent as they normally are. I don't know if the store TP would necessarily be needed. But it, maybe it would be depending on the builds that you do, because you might be able, with getting that 5% on your crossbow, you might be able to change the builds up slightly too. I don't know, it'd be an interesting combo. But it's 115 damage? How much? That seems high for a crossbow. That's on Gastra. Maybe I haven't looked at crossbows enough. 176. Okay, so no, it's actually very low. 115 versus 176. It's actually a very low damage rate for a crossbow. Sorry, I need to be doing arching arrows. <laughs> Why is the damage... So Wait, how much damage does it get down here, though? Plus 9? So it only goes to a damage of 124? Oh, I don't know if that's... Why is it such a low damaging crossbow, then? Because they're the same... Delay. But even Gastra's actual damage is like 50 more. That's just kind of crazy. I think the more I look at this, the more I'm like kind of scratching my head at it. I don't know. I don't know Ranger enough, so you guys probably could tell me like I'm an idiot and I'm looking at this incorrectly. Hi, Farsha. I know Goten has all three SU5 crossbows max. Wow. Because you get the double damage on the SU5. But I'm just looking at this, this Odyssey one. 
Maybe people might want to get it until they finish their gastra. Uh, do you really want to spend 4.5 million on that crossbow, though? Just to wait till you get gastra? Because you can do true flight with guns. Like, you don't, you don't have to have a crossbow in order to do true flights. Hold on, what's the SU-5 damage? Maybe, let's look at the SU-5 damage one. Crossbow! So it's 128. It only gets a 6. So it's, okay, so the other one's damage is kind of near the same as the SU-5 one. Because the Gleddy one, was it, plus... Nine. So this one's 126, while the SG5 is 128. Yeah. Or, I mean, you can get foam. You can use foam until you get Gastra. Because, um... While it doesn't have the magic attack bonus on it, it does have the magic accuracy that you can use. So you don't get resisted as much. Hmm. Doomsday is really easy to get, though, with doing original Sinister Rain. Not Sinister Rain. Uh, Skirmish. Which, actually, Skirmish event's coming up here pretty soon on the 11th, so in 10 days people can go do that as well. I think some people might just want the crossbow vibe. That's true. That's very true. Needs more Taeons. <laughs> so much Taeon. All the Taeon pieces. I had gotten Taeon for Ava's Rune Fencer to get Phalanx Plus on it. So. And I think I have some for when I was looking at Snapshot gear for for a ranger, but I don't think I need it now. Yeah, that crossbow's interesting. Maybe it's worth the 4.5 million. I don't know. I don't have access to buy it in order to try it out, but I also don't have 4.5 million to just throw away on something to go try out. They need to cap that snapshot. Yes. You want the head for snapshot? Okay, I know I have the head. I don't know how much I have on mine. I got nine, so I'm close. I'll have to get more stones in order to get it up. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know what this song is. We're going to go ahead and change it. Let's see what else is here. I think I did look at the great axe though. The bonsai. Bonsai chopper. It it looks like it's a wannabe um relic. Bravura. I don't know, maybe they'll come out with something crazy that like you can HQ this in the next Odyssey thing. Like, once you get the, the full augment, then you go and you can you can HQ it somehow. Yeah, I was looking at Bunzai for, um, for Geomancer because of the nuking capability on it. At first I looked at it at White Mage and then got really sad. And I'm like, it's just a nuking club. And then I was like, wait, nuking club. And then, yeah, Blue came up. Um, Geo came up. Yeah. Maybe wait for people to do them more so that way the price of them goes down I mean you have those people that just you know buy gill and then they just you know come up with these things thinking that they're really good and then they find out they're really crappy what about the bow there's a bow what is this bow 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 
We got True Shot on this bow. Need to cleave Apex faster. <laughs> I don't know about the bow. I'm looking at... I, it's got Barrage plus two. And more Recycle. Recycle plus ten. Stack that with the Relic Hat. It looks, it looks like the crossbow. So I don't know. I will say, why, again, is the axe beast only? I want more options for warrior axes, and they're not giving them to me. <laughs> the axe is beastmaster only. Oh wait, there's two axes. Hold on. Hold the phone. There is a second axe. I'm sorry. I only saw the one axe at first. There is a second one. <laughs> there was enough axe days with Warriors with Rampage. No, it's the Calamity spams now. You got Calamities going on. This has crit hit rate plus 10% on it, though. Weapon skill damage, 5. Let's augment just more attack and accuracy. A lot of these are just attack and accuracy increases. But it's got a strength and dex mod on it with a crit hit rate mod. Hmm. Hmm. Is this a rampage axe? Hold on. Let me go look up rampage again. It is a crit hit rate. It is a crit rate weapon skill. It's got a strength modifier. Are we bringing rampaging warriors back? Is that what this axe is going to do? Are we all of a sudden going to start seeing it? Because the Ambuscade brought Decimation Axe, or Decimation Weapon Skills back. Calamity's just still strong. Yeah. <laughs> but, is the Axe gonna bring back Rampage? It's got 10% crit hit rate on it. I don't know. I don't know if I would want to pay the 4.5 million to test it again. I was kind of excited about the staff, though. The Impaka staff. For Magic Burst 2 damage. But I don't know. Because I don't, I don't think people have found the cap for Magic Burst damage, too. I know they found the caps for uh, Cure Potency 2. But not really Magic Burst 2. So maybe they're finding more options to get that number. Hmm. All the choices. So many choices. We're halfway through this trial. Oh no, we're not. We're not halfway through this trial. This was a 300 trial, not a 400 trial. We're getting the job points though. We are getting there. Don't, don't counter me. That's rude. I'm just a little lone ranger here. I missed. <laughs> Eat the food. I was testing if Sapata would boost decimation was kind of meh. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, because of the two main jobs that I play, I was looking at the white mage set and the core set. Let me pull the core set back up again. Because I remember I wasn't too impressed except for like i said there was a tp bonus piece oh it's the body piece the tp bonus plus 200 oh but i don't know if i'd want to get rid of the body piece i normally weapon skill in just to get 200 tp bonus oh see yeah i'm trying to avoid chango but i think i'll just give in and make one. Oh, thanks for stopping by zayden i really appreciate it thanks so much Yay for the lurks! I'm actually going to be going to bed here soon myself. But I know the core set is all primarily ranged. And even then, it looks like it's just a more accuracy built type set comparatively to having other bonuses to it. I mean, it does have some ranged attack on it, but it's not very high. But I guess with the augments, giving it 70 range attack does make it really high. Um, 
physical damage limit. Would the physical damage limit be worth it? I don't know. Yeah, there's really not much that I'm looking at. Even on the core aspect of this. Hmm. Yeah, I've been seeing them pop up. Because Core doesn't get a lot of the physical damage limit stuff like Ranger does. So that's why I'm like, people are probably putting them in there for that. Head, leg, same sort TP as Malignant's, but with negative enmity and ranged attack, yeah. Which makes it really nice because they do have an enmity problem when it comes to shooting and the fact that they have store TP. Because the legs they were using before were the Adamar legs. So then you would go to Malignant's legs. So yeah, I guess you could change it up. But it would all depend on your store TP build when you're shooting. But at the same time, it's got the negative enmity, so yeah. It's that dang needing negative enmity to not pull hate. <laughs> but you wouldn't use it for multi-shots. Like, once you get triple shot up, you would go back to the, the SU-3 armor. Yeah. No, I'm not much either. Let the server reduce the prices as people are trying to get everything. That's why my group kind of decided to do the climb first before, like, jumping in to trying to get these sets. Just because some of them, like, some of them look really good. Like, there's the pup feet. Pup feet are amazing. Um, the Paka feet. Giving your automaton uh, an additional level. Yes, please. Um... But like the white, some of the white mage sets, I'm pulling it up even now. Like I still look at this and I'm like, eh. like it wouldn't change really any sets for me. They they don't even have more magic accuracy than what I use. It would be more again towards like the physical side of white mage if I wanted to go DD white mage, which I don't usually do on mine. The feet for the region potency might be nice though. But that, again, you would have to get the augment for it, which would take a while. Yeah, so no, not really. Wouldn't want it on White Mage. But the set for Paladin is really good. Except for the fact that the legs aren't working. It's kind of funny, though, that they mentioned that it wasn't working. <laughs> Yeah, it was giving killer effect plus five instead of the the damage taken minus nine. That's still funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really huge for paladins. <laughs> well, that's why I'm not in a rush to go get it. <laughs> I have my volt. I have some voltage pieces. Yes. But I'm not upset about it. It is more offensive than my Volti pieces are. That is very true. It's like an offensive defensive set because it's got double attack on every piece too. Okay. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to call it a, a night. And I will probably be doing this more. Um, I told Bunny I was going to play Phasmo tomorrow. So... We'll probably do it either Wednesday or Thursday. Not 100% sure, but we'll get it figured out. But I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Uh, let me see if anybody's streaming real quick before I head out here. And also, I appreciate all the feedback on Ranger. Uh, all the comments in regards to Ranger. Oh, we got, we got Ileana streaming, so we'll go ahead... And give this over to her once I remember her full name. Yeah, there we go. Nope. <laughs> See, 
Yeah, I can't even... I'm looking at her name and I couldn't even spell it correctly. There we go. So if you guys... She's actually doing Dynamis Divergence with my Link Shell LOL Lockstyle, who does the event stuff. Right now I've been kind of holding off on doing events, so you can go check them out. Go wish them luck on their Dynamis run. I don't know how much longer they have. But she might be doing some stuff afterwards, so go ahead and cheer her on. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You guys have a wonderful night. Bye-bye!